In this video, we will describe how to use a handheld camera microscope to do a hair density examination. Uh, I will be representing the clinician, and this will be our client, our sample client. Uh, I will be using the D-Light microscope camera uh, to do this examination as, a, as an example, but there are other camera microscopes available. And I'll be using the standard software included with the D-Light, but there is other uh, software available that does more advanced hair analysis called CompareView Hair. Uh, the first step is to choose an area of the scalp or the hair that is uh, the densest or re representing a normal um, area of the scalp. So I'm just going to choose the side of the head here. And the uh, way to get a best uh, view of the density is to part the hair with your fingers so that you're not viewing the hair but the actual scalp underneath. So you just move the hair aside with your fingers so you can see the scalp. And then I'm using the 50X lens for the D-Light microscope. This is the recommended lens or recommended magnification for examining hair density. And so I'm just touching the scalp. The D-Light has a focus ring which you can adjust as needed. And you position the tip of the um, D-Light microscope directly onto the scalp and adjust focus, making sure that you have uh, a representative area of the scalp and you can actually see the follicles entering the scalp. Once you've got an, uh, an image that you approve of and that looks good for uh, example density, you touch the capture button on the D-Light microscope and now that image is saved on the computer for comparison. We can take multiple hair density examinations in other areas of the scalp. I'll now move back to the crown of the scalp. Part the hair with your fingers. Again, touch the tip of the D-Light microscope to the crown, and you can see variations in the density which can be compared. I will capture a new picture by touching the capture button. So now we've got two images of scalp density in different parts of the scalp. You can take as many images as needed in different parts of the scalp for comparative purposes and then you can view those images on the screen to compare the density in different areas of the scalp and to compare uh, the density for other clients or for a standard or consider what is considered a normal. Once you've captured images then you can examine those images you've captured more closely and do actual image counts. So the images we captured are on the computer here. I'll double click on the first one, which uh, was considered the normal area or dense area. And you can manually count these hairs as a res representative area. Since you're using the 50X tip, you have a known uh, field of view. So you can repeat this um, field of view with the 50X tip or with the 50X lens on other cameras. And then we can compare that to the second image we captured of the more thin area and you can do individual hair counts. To make this easier we have this compare view hair software which allows you to manually count those hairs and which does an average of those hairs on that image for that area of the scalp which makes it much more easy to compare the images and the scalp density in different areas of the scalp and to compare with norm with a normal for the population uh, of, for age and for gender. So those are the things that you can do with the handheld camera microscopes to capture and measure hair density.